Right, there we go, for God's sake. No, no, no. Come on, get off me. Okay, what the freak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the faint sounds, footsteps of those survivors. What's happening, guys? It's Liney Dabs, aka Raw Fusion. I'm back with another episode of Resident Evil Zero. So, we're doing some more exploring throughout the research facility in this series, guys. So, I've now have a bit of time just to do more Let's Play series of Resident Evil Zero, guys. So, let's entertain you all with some heat and beat. Shovel up the heat. Let's do this, guys. So, in the last video, we managed to find the fire key, which was based up on the rooftop area. So we're going to explore some more rooms, which is right about in the facility itself. So we just go this way through the control room and then we got another fire red door we gotta open. Right, so one of us has the key, so I've just managed to change back to Billy again. And then we're gonna like unlock some more doors. So yeah, we're doing alright for health as it is. But the shotgun that was on the train, it was absolutely um rubbish because you can only hold like two rounds and that's about it guys so yeah go through this door and then um, go on through the single door which is on this side yeah so we'll get to the control room bit in the while and in the game anyway but I don't think we got to do it in this series but we'll do it in the next series if we can but it's just like I said it's been so long I've been playing this Resident Evil Zero it's been actually um like seven years I suppose anyway yeah, right, so we got the last door we got to open, yeah, okay, so we've used the fire key, right, so we don't need the fire key anymore, so we can just literally just chuck it away then, so we just go through this door, see what's on the other side, so we've got some items on the other side, I should say, okay, what the freaking hell, the music is just so creepy, god, that's what I hate about this game, but I do like it in a good way though, anyways, but we just got to push this table on the other side see what we've got to get um right so there's a red button there that we've got to press something's on the top okay right god damn it okay so it's a bit of a like um bit of a maze to actually get round and you can't even can you even climb over the table okay right let's grab these handgun rounds if we can right that's it yeah take the handgun rounds we there we go and we got some shotgun rounds again. There we go. Um, just a bit of paperwork we got to look at. Uh, assistance Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots for God's sake? We did get a couple of decent ones, but we can't complain, I guess. William and Albert. So, there were the ones that were in the lift where the train goes and they were going up to the um, umbrella research facility and I'm on about William and Albert so William Birkins and Albert Wesker they were working together in this game then and um, William just goes on about developing the G virus and that's when he just mutates into one William and Albert they might have a future September 25th okay scholar will practical are uh, they really are opposites and they're always competitive in anything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them in both. October 7th got a sudden call from the director. It was all to the encourage arrival between the two. It was the first time since the training facility was built the director Mark oh Dr. Marcus that was what I was on about has shown interest in anything that other re than his research Right, that's about it. Not gonna read any more on that one. We just take this exit out of that one there. Um, right then, we, let's climb. Oh, for God's sake, let's climb over this table. And we're gonna press this light switch here. I think it's a light switch. Right, flip it. Okay. Right, there's gotta be a purpose of the switch somewhere. Ah, right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, come on. Come on, Rebecca. Move. Get out the way. Right, that's it. Let's climb up this one. Yeah. Right. Since now I'm chosen Rebecca, we might as well push the table as her. Oh, no. I've gone to switch to Billy. I don't want to be Billy. Right, let's split up. You stay here. Yeah. 
Mind you, the table's only light anyway, so we're just gonna, like, push it where we need to push it. Right, then we're gonna climb up this thing here, and then grab what items up there. And there we go. Um, something's up there. Ah, there it is. This must be the minute hand, so we can now attach it to the... Follow me. Okay. The clock um, mechanism. Right, I'm just going to lead the way and switch back to Billy because I want to, like, put the ladies in protection. You know, so I always, always want to protect my uh, Rebecca Chambers. She's one of my favourite characters. She's very, very hot. One of the best uh, medic characters in the Resident Evil series. Yeah, uh, there's no more that we need to get out that room there. So we go back this way and then head back up the stairs where we... In the same room where we actually did defeat the big giant uh, centipede. Um, right, then we go back into the hallway. Yeah, nothing on the other side. Yeah, just dead silence indeed as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't even remember what door it is. Ah, yes, it's got to be this door. Right, go through this way if we can. Yeah, so sorry if I sound a bit like talkative and just a bit energetic because I've been on a few drinks because I, I just uh, come back from a gig out. So I thought I'd just get in the mood, just do some let's plays, you know, but that's about it. You just got to have fun, you know, so I just wanted to entertain you all with the fun, that, with the heat and beats and like shovel up the heat. You get me, whatever it is you're saying. Yeah, what, right, we got to go this way. So we managed to defeat the crows uh, that were outside. <laughs> In the front balcony of the research facility. Right, there we go, for God's sake. No, no, no. Come on, get off me. God damn it. Right, what's with all the herbs, man? Right, now I've got Rebecca, we may as well make all the herbs. Right, why have I got no space? Yeah, it's because I've got the minute hand. Right, might as well take the first aid spray and use that. But the lighter fluid is definitely worth, like, holding on at the moment anyway. Right, go through this doors and then we got to, like, um, defeat all the, the big giant crickets that are in there. Mind you, I used to play cricket when I was in school, but it turns out to be a freaking bug. Right, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. That's it. Stay down, stay down. Come on, Mr. Cricket. I don't like cricket. Uh huh. I love it. Yeah. I don't like cricket. Yeah, of course I like cricket because I've just had one. The minute hand is just missing from the dial. Um, right then, let's uh, switch back to Rebecca and then place the minute hand on the thingamajig if we can. Yeah, that's it. Oh, bugger off. Sod off. You don't need this now. Of course I need it. It's a solidly built clock. Yeah, we know that for sure. I don't want to change back to Billy. God, I keep me getting mixed up with these freaking controls. Right, use that. Yeah, there we go. Aha, solidly built clock. Move the hand. Right, I've got a feeling it's like 10 past 11. Right, so the... Um, right, move the minute hand to the right again. Yep, and then move the our hand to the left. Right, I think that's okay. Right, I, I think I got it right. Nothing happens. Crap. Yep. I almost got it there. Right. Move it to the right. Yep. This must be it. Okay. Right. That's it. So, we got to look on the clock outside. It's got to mean something. Right, I just want to try and do this without, like, cheating or anything. Yeah, one of the, like, complex uh, puzzles I've ever done. Yeah, uh, oh, God. Eight, quarter past eight. Let's try that. Right, we got to move the hour hand now. Right, move it two more times. Yeah, move it again. Right, 8.15. Right, minute hand now. Okay, 8.15. Um, go right with the minute hand. Yep, and I think this must be it. You know how I know? Because I went to the conference room and then um, read the document and it stated 8.15. So we've unlocked all the clock doors. 
And I think there's only two of them, and that's about it. Okay. Yeah, there's only two clock doors, and that's about it. Right, we gotta go the other way. Right. So we gotta go back to the ground floor and see what we have to do. Alright. And I've just got, like, stalked by a real life liquor that's really just barged into my room trying to, like, attack me. Dessel. But we go back into the centipede room where we almost died. And, like, when she. When she was grabbed by the big centipede. And I'm on about Rebecca Chambers. Um. So we go down the other way, the way we go, we go down, back to the ground floor, up we go, it is, see you later, down we go, down we go, down we go, oh yes, down we go, down we go, down we go, through the door, through the door, let's go through the door, let's go through the damn door, so one of the doors is open, it's unlocked, uh, it's this one, so we've got to see what's on the other side. Um, right, so... Okay, what the freak? Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Don't die on me, don't die on me, don't die on me. Alright, that's it. Um, more shotgun shells. Okay. Oh my god. No! Right, that's it. Right, bugger off. You can't even carry this item now, so. This is a few things why I hate about this goddamn game, because you can't even carry items. You can only carry, like, a few at a time, and that's about it. So you just have to, like,. Put this, that, to carry the other. Put that down to carry the other. Right, I'm just going to exchange this one. Right, exchange this one to um, Billy. Yep, so we all just, like, equal out. Right, we've got to take the microfilm B. So there's got to be A that's got to be somewhere. Right, we just gotta look on the map. Okay. Something's just literally chomping away. Right, you get down there, stop down. No, don't even move, don't even move. Don't even come back up! You hear me? A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. The great law of the sun go governs things, so. This must be a puzzle of something, you know, but. Not gotta read all that. We just, like, slap back into the gameplay. Got so many herbs. We're gonna go onto the ground floor and see what we have to do. Um, back in the main hallway. Oh god, gone the wrong way, I suppose. But even looking at this way, there's nothing else in this room that we need to get from there because we got everything from there where we just got jump scared by a whole load of crows. Oh, hello, Dr. Marcus. How are you all doing? You doing okay? Yeah, don't answer me back because I literally find that pretty rude as well. But we've got to go through this door. And I've got a feeling there's got to be a um, stretch Armstrong monster just going to pop up. Because in the last video... Oh my god, them freaking leeches again. Oh no. Oh no. Right, clock door. Go through this room. Yeehaw! Yay! <laughs> Okay. Oh, for God's sake. God, that scared me. Somehow Billy's gun sounds a lot better. Right, okay. Microfilm projector. We're gonna... Like, we gotta insert the B side. Okay. Right, that's it. Let's go into our inventory and just put this disc in. Um, let's view it and see what it's like. Right. The screen displays a bizarre pattern. 
Right, let's cancel that one. Um, anything else? Oh god, more handgun rounds. Right, I've got a feeling the microfilm ace got to be in the room where we've had to wind Rebecca up in the manual lift. The one that got jammed up in mid-air that we can't even get back down. Yeah, it's got to be here. Right, that's it. Is that that one over there? Right, I'm going to take it as Billy. Yep, so we got the A microfilm. So now we can find out what the other numbers uh, does actually mean and there's a recognition of it as well because if it all becomes in if it all turns out to be like uh, bizarre patterns that it's got to be a meaning for somewhere so we got the other film that we need to filter it out with so we can actually find out what the code is and then we're going to need to go into the control room to unlock all the sword doors right so let's go back the other way and then see what we have to do and uh, we have to put the microfilm A in the machine where the clock room is. Yeah, so we're back into the room where we uh, was before, anyway, where we inserted the microfilm B. So now we've got to insert the microfilm A so we can find out what the code is for the control room. Right, oh, where's that camera? Yeah, there's the camera there. No, not the camera, it's the... Microfilm projector. Right, so we got A in this time. Yeah, so... There's something written on the top of the picture of the seats. Right, so... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Right. Okay, so... We've taken the MO disc, but now we've got to insert it into the computer where the where the uh, podium's pedestal is. Okay, microfilm image, an image result in the overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Yep, that's it. So we've got to find out what the code is. Yep, right. So we head back into the conference room. So that's where we need to unlock all the sword doors. And then uh, after that, we've got to end the series because the time is just literally running now. But just, just got to say, I've just come back from a night out and I just feel so energetic because I had a good time with mates and not just that. I've just come back from a gig as well because I've just like DJed out in, in the club and just flooded the crowd. So that's why I'm so buzzing because... It was so nice to have a good time out with um, like uh, people that I know and like seeing the whole crowd just dancing away to like house music though. But anyways, we're going back up here. Yeah, to the conference room indeed as well. And um, through this way. Right, come on Billy, move it. Move your ass, man. Right. Through you go, through you go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. In it, you know in it. You know it. Alright, that's it. Back to the stall we go. Umbrella Cooperation. Man, they got a s nice sound system there. But where is the DJ equipment? Right, we need to insert the disc now. Insert the disc. Right, insert the Yemo disc. The Mo disc. Yeah. Now loading. Complete. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter passcode. O A. O A. Zero A. Um zero A. No input device nearby. Zero A. Uh, right. That's um one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, I'm gonna stop here. Right. So we gotta split, split up. up. Okay. Yeah. Right, so Rebecca's pressed uh okay. This way. Okay. Okay, right. Now, this is a bit complicated now. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Right, I need to stop where I am. I need to, like, split. I need to switch to Billy again. Okay, this has got to be it now. This has got to be it. Right. That's it. Change over to Rebecca. Right, this is confusing. Right, come on now. Right, 
Right, Rebecca's pressed that one. Now I've got to switch back over to Billy. Okay, so now I'm just going to look back on the map. Right, training facility. Okay. Right, look on files. Right, that's what we want is microfilm image. Right, zero A. Okay, it was the other side, silly me. Bagger. I went to section nine, but... Right, that's number nine there, so this has got to be letter A. Right, that's it done. Right, I think we've unlocked the sword doors now. Right, that's it done. Okay, so now it's opened a new path for us, so... These were the doors that we couldn't unlock with the key, so we've had to use, like, a passcode for it. Yeah, so I just gotta say... Thank you guys for watching the epic episode of Resident Evil Zero where I'm just entertaining you all for the fun of it. You know, but if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and slap that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. So, Liney Damps, aka Ruffage and Force, signing out. Peace out, man. Shaman of the, the hate. 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 hate.